question, man. I mean, these guys, they came through the legend phase 3-0. It's legit. Let's get into this one. The Spirit taking on FaZe Clan. First semi-final. And we're right away into Mirage. No waiting around in the sports palace. FaZe on the T side. Want to start rip-roaring. Drops in the middle. He's going to be the guy taking that first engagement, but backed out immediately. The pressure's on. The shots are missing. And Drops can't connect. It's Dexter finding first blood. Yeah, still floating around over here in middle. They don't want to tempt fate again and face him early. Instead, they try go running into this B site. Patsy oh. with the double what? up. And oh, trying to sneak underneath. Broke, he's cut down. There's knives out, Harry. Knives. That's a weird start to the game. Phase trying to play mind games to open up. Oh, can you feel it? Can you feel spirit starting strong? A pistol around in the pocket and one of the best CT-sided teams we have at this entire tournament, right? We can hype up Rain. We can talk about his entry capabilities, his numbers through the roof. Unprecedented for a rifler, but spirit sneak the pistol and FaZe have to eco. Yeah, just got to bite the bullet on this one early, right? So spirit looking to get off to this real clean start. Chance to keep it very clean indeed. FaZe Clan just going to be talking it over in this one. Trying to get anything they can out of the round, but it's very unlikely. Ooh, that's a little tag onto Twist as he's running back through the apartments. I mean, yeah, they're already wounded. They're stuck in top mid. There's no doing damage in this round. There's no getting away with anything here. I just love the confidence of Dexter already in this in this stage matchup, right? First time on a stage for this guy. And we always wondered if, you know, not only young players, but inexperienced players would feel pressure, would feel nerves. And they're rushing top mid and pistol and second round. Spirit are here to play. They're here to stay and they're here for a second round. No way back in for Brokey. I mean, you know, you touched upon Chopper coming into this. This is where having him in this team is pretty huge, right? He's been around the block. He's been to majors. And uh, he's going to be able to keep the rest of the gang in check. So here's the good start. But this is where things are really going to get interesting. FaZe Clan with their first buy round coming up. Won't have that AWP in play just yet, but they're going to have everything else they could possibly dream of, yeah. Hugo. It's a fan favorite map, Pool Mirage. Dust into Nuke, the best tactical map we have in the pool right now to close. I certainly hope we get all three. FaZe, maybe not warmed on Mirage. Haven't seen them touch this one since the RMR, and it didn't go well for them there. Let's see what they got on this T side. Carrigan at the helm, straight into middle. Patsy will meet them under. And lots of room taken. FaZe are not scared. Dexter, dead over the middle, right? Oh, he's he's early fight to me. He's oh. got down. There's the response, Ray. Doubles up over in middle. It's clean openers. It's exactly what FaZe wanted. And it's Rain putting them all on the board, starting strong. As has been the case with this guy throughout the majors yeah, so far. There's a reason we're marveled by his opening kill stats, right? And they're, they're, FaZe, they're not shy of him. It's not just one guy. It's a superstar roster oh. and Rain with a tap. Four kills and no response. Rain will fall, but that should be the last casualty for FaZe. Beautiful start, man. Beautiful from Rain. Sirens left saving a Famous, which is far from ideal. Uh, and FaZe, they're even playing around like this dropped gun over in jungle. They don't want anything to get taken out of this round. It's a really dominant way to arrive on the board, right? You're up against the bonus here, so you were expecting it to be a phase round. You were expecting them to do damage. My God, that is clean. Yeah, 30% of rounds played. Reigns finding opening kills. 70% success in the fights he takes first. He's a rifler, Harry. It makes no sense. Take a look at the old wallet on this one, Hugo. A little bit nerve-wracking. You would love to see that AWP come out early, right? Dexter's already been so involved in these opening mid-fights, and we're only a couple of rounds in. Not always the guy that you see throwing himself into those opening engagements, right? But he's burdened with this composition. Oh, he's and done he it. will have the AWP in play. No armor behind it. He's taken it glass cannon into this round. Of course. And he's looking to get involved early. Dexter's really wanting oh. to lock FaZe out of middle. A Molly Smoke combo going to force a bit of respect out of him. Now FaZe have their eyes set. 
out into the mid area, as you would expect. Rain is that tip of the spear, the man at the front of the pack. Rest of phase moving in behind him. Carrigan's waiting for ramp aggression here in spirit. They look like they want to come in with it. Oh my goodness. How far it's does he stand go? off? Oh. No, they're going, they're going in. Carrigan's waiting for this exact move. Hey, Bombsite belongs to him. He's dealt with the ramp push, and the rest of phase are going to start to move in now. Yeah, no armor, like you said, but is that going to be a problem? Is he going to hold this orb back? He's got support. CT's moving in from the sport. Open line of sight and a missed shot. Phase control it. Now they don't know about the tuck player, but Rain flashed in for a fight. Orp off the angle. He delays his peak, and Patsy uh, is a problem. Backstab, bomb down. Patsy fights, but FaZe won't give him the time of day. Or night twist with another, and it's looking like a shutout. Dexter can't hit a finishing kill and FaZe, they're already here to cut off the escape routes. Hunting it every step of the way. Brokey wanted that AWP and he's going to take it with him out of the round. Man, that's got to feel good for Carrigan, right? There's a big mental aspect to this and with him already getting reads off, like waiting at ramp for that doubled up yeah. aggro out of team spirit, they threw that in super early in the game, right? They try to take real estate, they try to uh, punish FaZe and Carrigan's just one step ahead. Oh, he begs him to get anti, right? He, he just sits and lulls in the pressure and waits for spirit to make the mistake, so they shout. Dexter really tried to get involved there. Even that smoking connector, it bounced on top of the Molotov, but it didn't put it out. It completely cut him out of fighting for middle, which FaZe have already made a mainstay of their T side in these four rounds gone far. They've had full control. And Spirit now have nothing of the sort, just pistols. Flashbang to pop him in. Could just throw everyone through connector, jump him out the window, try and get involved. And you know they'll meet FaZe there if they do. Rain wants to add oh. something to the highlight reel. It's only one. Molly burns out the window, man. And Carrigan with the spray control is good for the kills in mid. The pistols brushed aside by the captain of FaZe. Even oh. just that pacing for Rain, right? He just beats him to the punch. They're lining up flashes. They're trying to get ready in connector. He's already up on the catwalk before they've set that flash over the top. Two kills from it. And exit is your only hope. Don't give away the knife, folks. Nah. Oh, he knows. He checked. knows. It's checked every day of the week. You could feel the suspense building. You know, they <laughs> can feel it too. They knew something was going down. All right, phase clan, 3 2 up. We're going to have that AWP in Dexter's hands. I, I really think he's like the, the key piece of the puzzle here, right? He really is that. That guy who's going to have to make all the difference, because if FaZe have made one thing clear, it's that they're coming for mid. They are chasing you out of there. So now that he's got that all back in play, you're hoping he can hit the ground running here. It's a read for Spirit. It's a triple B start. They're going to aggress catwalk boost. Always an option towards this position. Catch a player going fast con. Carrigan's done it. His smoke down does cover the ladder room, though. This is a quick exec for FaZe. Yeah, they want to go fast on this one. Now that they've lost Carrigan, he's going to call from beyond the grave. Nah, pull out. We're not committing. We're oh. not going. Oh, drops. All right, with the taps, four on four. Give him back over. It's clean. However, Spirit, they've spotted a bit of a gap here. Ah. Siren getting very aggressive all the way up through middle. And so right now, FaZe don't know it, but they're boxed in. And Spirit have the bulk of this information. There is a real asymmetry of info in this round. Yeah, the only problem is they haven't cleared apps, so Dexter's Warp is still stuck down on a dead angle. It's going to be the last person in play right now. It will have to be a retake orb. Those smokes are coming in, and Chopper's the only man to stop it. Yeah, Molly Doubt, he'll give this up. He's going to try and lend some time to his teammate on the wrap round. It's Siren moving in quietly on this flank. FaZe is still committed to executing on the site, and eventually they're going to need to wisen up to this flank, Siren strikes. Chopper oh. waiting for the push. He's good for that first man. There's the trade. Rain tucked in, but they're out of ramp. They're all around Ouch. him, and he's going to get spammed out. It's left to Brokey. 1v3, but this guy is a clutch AWP player. He's rerouted around to the ramp side. 
Goes in, oh! he's got to peek ahead a bit. They're still on the bomb. It's the 10 second stick and Dexter providing the overwatch. Perfect smoke for Dexter. He held that all damn round and that force broke his hand. He wanted to play it slow and steady. He wanted to play it calculated. He had to just run through and get involved. Not just the smoke, but the shot to stop the clutch. Spirit, hold on. Nice flank for Siren. Didn't rush that one as well, right? Knew he had phase boxed in. Was scared of a lurker. Was scared of a plane going back to check spawn. Nothing worse when you know that the flank is coming in. Phase can slow down. But Siren gets a lot of value out of the backstab and Spirit win a rifle round. Yeah, that might slow down these T sides a bit for FaZe, right? It's clear that Spirit have been able to find the gap now. You know all about it. And that flank just tore the round apart. Utah going over towards B, destined to be a fake here, but Dexter's already ahead of it. With Carrigan now dead, and Chopper aggro in top mid. Spirit yeah. building a very clear picture oh. as to where this is meant to end up. Might have a clear picture right now. Twists <gasps> oh, through the oh, no. side, trying to make artwork of his own. It's only one. Okay, gone after the fact. Reigns made it over the stairs. Bombs out at T-Ramp. They're everywhere. They are all over the map right now moving through the apartments is about to clear out B. Do they want to try and Ooh. lend time to this Ooh. flank? The spam connects, but Rain's gotten out. And Rops is still coming in on this Oh round. no! Oh no, dear! He's got it away. Rops, you need this kill. You have to get it, and he will. Dexter now dead. The flank activated. But there's another one from Siren. Oh, can you hear it? The Siren's calling, luring FaZe onto the rocks. He's out through round, but Brokey's gonna check for it. Not again! And Not there again. drops on that B site, living rent free in the minds of spirit. Oh, it's so perfect. You can see FaZe piecing together the rounds, figuring it out, not falling for flanks. Even that backup to plant default just gives no way in for Siren. You go again for a triple plant or reverse default, he's going to catch you in the animation. He's surely going to get another kill and spark up that retake round, but FaZe deny it again. And a second pause called by spirit. This one's not gone to plan to start, and maybe FaZe is picking the series. But Spirit, the one thing they've proven in these upsets, in this brutal run from open qualifier to major semi-final, is they come in prepped, man. They anti-strat. They pick a surprising map. They catch you with your pants down. One thing was clear, especially from that Furia matchup in the quarterfinal. It's exactly what you're saying, man. They do their research. They know how to figure you out. Hyper Carrigan is knowing to move away from the standard playbook. If the situation calls for it. This guy's more than comfortable yeah. coming up with them on the fly. Oh, he loves Lucy Goosey, fast CS. Right, despite the entry capabilities on this team, Carrigan is no fearful player to throw himself in the front line, take those opening duels himself. We've already seen it. And phase again, they play these anti-ecos to perfection. Slow default, the entire map blanketed with T players. Trying to figure out where this stack is. Shh, no one tell. They're being super methodical on this one, man. They're going to discover the B site soon enough. They might just go into... Oh, hang on a moment. Hello. Hang on a moment. They're going up short. They're going into the stack right now. Oh, my goodness. This could be a head-on collision inside, up against the pistols. They're moving in. It should be controllable. Ooh. Should, as Rain wrestles with the AK. USP is getting brushed aside, and there we go. It's a done deal now. Just Dexter, left standing, 5-7 in a dream. And they're skirting on out of there. They just don't let them save guns, right? They don't let them get away with anything, even though they can completely up and leave. You kill four on a bomb site, you know there's a fifth. But with Reigns gun down, phase deny a save again. Dex has got the money at least. Big Green will be coming in to this next rifle round for Spirit. They called a pause prior to the eco. They've discussed it. They know that what they want to do. But can Carrigan keep it fresh? Oh my God, Patsy's got a P90. All right, a P90. All right. Up here in a major semi-final. Ballsy. His first major at that, so let's see what he's going to try and do with it. Okay, buddy. At least he's got the ammo for this position. He can go for days. An ode to Furia, whom Spirit eliminated just two days ago.
Northwest has been really keen on these lower tunnels pushes. And with Rain, the man coming from top mid, it's a pretty terrifying twosome over here working this con control. Dexter's trying to fight for middle. Our P90 hero, Patsy, still lying in wait. And I kind of hope they test him. The bomb yeah. is leaning towards A. I want to see what this P90 can do. I mean, you've got more than enough bullets to just let it rip. Oh. Again, that all out of position. Dex has not been fortunate other than that first rifle round that Spirit picked up on a retake on the A site. He has been out of sight, out of mind for FaZe. They've got to crunch this double site setup. 35 seconds now up the connector through the palace. Here come FaZe. Yeah, triple con split. It's going to be tricky. It has to be contained here. Chopper up close. Oh, oh right now they run at him. They run him down. Ray with the open. Bye bye. And moving in. Everyone inside of this A site is cut down. Barely a point of damage done the other way. That is ludicrous on the openers, man. Rops some rain, kills a piece, and that's the round. It's done. Spirit barely even got a chance to play. Yeah, Patsy, the impatience come back to bite, didn't it? He was hiding Firebox the entire round. Moved up on the balcony right as that palace pop comes through. Here's the hunt. Openers forget it. Rain's on about the closers. Orb got to fight its way out of this round if Dexter wants to try and have impact. And they've got him boxed in. Locked in a cage. They let the time tick right down. Oh my god, yeah, this is terrifying. Oh He's trying dear. to fight his way back into the side. Oh, dropping oh. in, and Carrigan not going to let that orb get out of there. You touched on it a few rounds ago, and it still remains the case. FaZe, they will not let you save. They will not let you have these hero guns, these hero investments. When you're broke, you're broke. There's no silver lining. There ain't even copper for scrap. Face putting up all the rare metals, more clean rifle rounds, more five alive T sides. So their bank account already swelling out of control. And hey, Dex is not feeling the pressure at least, trying to get the crowd back on his side. He'll need it today. Deep breath, spirit. Yeah, I mean, this is the true test of Team Spirit, right? Like, this is the the biggest game you're ever going to play in. And if you win this one, then the biggest game you'll ever play in is actually tomorrow. So <laughs> it, it's a real uphill battle. And yeah. they've got to get past some of the best in the world. But boy, do they know how to get a crowd going. All right, let's kind of take stock of this one so far. We've had a, uh, a lights out start from FaZe Clan, man. This is uh, this has subdued a lot of the worries that maybe folks had after some of the streaky matches, some of the streaking you know, problems that were creeping up in that NIP game. There was a moment where it felt like yeah. NIP could have won that, right? But they, there were a couple. They course corrected, they got back on top of it, and now they've showed up in this spirit one in a very clean fashion to open, right? We're getting Rain in his prime, looking so good, keeping up that consistency he's had, really up until we got to the big stage where he went a little quiet in that third map versus NIP. Well, he's on a form right now, topping the charts, providing these openers, Rops alongside him. Carragher's is looking out into the crowd. Ice cold, baby. Look at this. He's been here before. Yeah, the one consistency of these stage games is, you know, we've had underdogs put up a show, we've had them put up a fight, but once we hit those third maps, Harry, that's when the favorite just slams. We saw it yesterday in that Na'Vi heroic matchup. We've definitely got all the makings of a three-mapper with the pool coming through in this series. As Devilwalk said, there was a way even for Spirit to 2-0 this one. A very comfortable map pool it could have been. But FaZe don't want to let it get that far. For Carrigan, we talk about his major curse. We talk about his histories on these stages. But man, this is the furthest we've seen FaZe and Carrigan specifically in a major since that famed Boston final. It's been quarters with Mouse and FaZe. It's been legend stage only. And yeah, Spirit may be an underdog up for the task, but this can't be a game FaZe fallen.
Yeah, you know, we use the word fake coming into this. I mean, ever since the, uh, the famed phase Boston Major where they end up falling short, you know, it felt like it, it took a while for Carrigan to rebuild, to rebuild his brand, to build himself back up to this point. Now he's got this team that feels hand-picked around him, right? And it, you know, it's just that part of you that says, if there ever was a time, it's now. It's here, it's in Antwerp that he's looking to win a major. All right, we're back into this one. Bit of a delay, but here we go. FaZe taking on Team Spirit. Let's get back into this one, shall we? Pistols galore for Spirit. It's never fun. And it's never slow. Not with the ROPs at the front, but that smoke will call them off just for a moment. FaZe go back to the classic, the mid control, the taps for rain, but no connection. Spirit get out for now. No stacks either, but Spirit are trying to pull one into play. Yeah, the thing that's scary, FaZe haven't really cared what site is stacked or not. Yeah. They've just battled their way in regardless of the circumstances. This is looking to be another one of those kind of rounds right now as Rain trying to trickle his way up through the connector. Rops out on the ramp side. The openers are starting to flood in. It's Carrigan and Rain on the mid -lug. The yep. pistols locked out of this one. Bye -bye. No damage for Spirit. And a flawless round for FaZe up against the Pistols. I mean, we don't have a player below 10k coming into that next round. We've even got Rops almost at 16. This is going to be one hell of a, a comeback needed for Spirit, just to break the money, just to get rounds on the board, to give them those free Ecos. They may never get a taste of it in this first half. Really, I'm looking to Dexter. I'm looking to this guy to, to throw himself into a gunfight, right? He's been very passive, very tapered on the AWP and very out of position, but maybe pushing himself up into the front line is the only way to go to get warmed back in. Brokey's not really really needed to do a lot. It's been the Rops and Rain show. Good to see the former starting stronger. His first stage game, he went very cold on Nuke. He did take that 30 kills from Carrigan and Rain combined just to push them over the finish line. Rops can't wait for a third map All activation. Right. Here come FaZe with another execute. Yeah, Smokes are going to lock this AWP off as best they can. So right now there's one guy under Palace. The AWP's trying to play into it as well. Over a ramp, the Molly slowed them right down. And Patsy in middle has finally dealt with this Lurker of Rain. Right Hello. now, the round rests on Rops' shoulders. Oh. Out through Market needs to catch this. Siren waits patiently and the kill rings out. Siren's name all over it. This one has not got according to plan. This is not as Carrigan described it would go. Twists and Brokey in the 2v5. Yeah, Chop has crept under. Single step made will be information to Spirit. The map quiet. No knowledge of FaZe's positions, but Chopper's getting antsy, he's getting curious, and he's only centimeters away from a headshot to Twist, he finds it. It might be a flawless round. That's exactly what Spirit need to get the juices flowing, to get the blood pumping yet again. Brokey gonna hunt this kill, trying to make it a little more expensive, and that's a nice headshot. Yeah, we say he's a clutch offer, but he does. can't win this one, can he? 1v5 was just looking to get out of there, just looking to save that AWP and make it expensive on the way out yeah. the door. We don't see Spirit grab a second orb, despite seeing uh, you know, some really good double orbing uh, prowess from some of the youngsters on this squad. Right now with FaZe running so many executes, so many splits into this A-bomb site, it can be really difficult to get value out of a double orb on Mirage. They'll lean away for it, just leave Dexter in the pressure. That's more like it for Spirit though, right? They're out of all the ways to win a round, four alive, dealing with the mid component, that thing that's been stifling you all game. That's a feel good round for the Spirit squad. Is it just gonna be a flash in the pan, a one and done? Or can they keep the good times rolling? We'll find out, mid control taken again. FaZe, they won't let you get comfortable here. They wanna fight for it every damn time. AK's moving oh. up the connector. That was a double dig. He secured that opening kill. Carrigan even tapping out. Patsy on the short side. Oh. And making his way up into the window. He might not be over this oh. one yet. Still in with more. <laughs> Never knowing when to quit. Carrigan lining up the scoreboard right now. Three in the round. And it still isn't stopping him. He might be low on health. But he wants oh. all the glory. Oh. And it's a phase clan round through and through. Reality. They'll respond with a flawless one of their own. 
reality check, coming right back in. You can't get comfortable, can you? And it's not like Spirit had that fragonized yellow component chopper off at the bottom of the team, relying on his stars right now, silent in this series. And Kagan just doing things his own way. If you want something done right, do it yourself, he says. Perfect entry round, eight to four, another rebuy, only allowed by the flawless rifle round. Spirit drop under, quick control getting taken back, but Rain, talk of it, he is there, right up on the short side, dodges death from that con. It's gonna be smoke that he walks below, looking for this pick down lower. Oh, Rain seems aware. And now the problems Ooh. start to occur. Equalizer found, magics. Fresh Prince all hidden underneath the palace side. Brokey over here in middle, starting to get warmed up with this AWP. Oh, all the guns no. roar into life now, though. Arrow. Spirit drop the bomb in middle. Carrigan closes the gap oh. and drops. Well, Rain rather closes the net. Chopper left up in this one. It's the IGL of phase. Carrigan to pop off with a big round in the one prior. Now it's Chopper's turn. His shot at revenge. Into the crosshair first. Twist is fighting him, but he's getting wrapped. If he tries to go back, he's a dead man. Carrigan is one step ahead, and here he is in Whoa. the back line. Anti air as he brings Chopper to his knees. It's phase clan in with a knife. He felt that coming. He knew it was moving in, but knowledge isn't enough. Not at this point, FaZe are making quick work of this T side. And Spirit have only had troubles on the attacking half. I'm a little worried right now. Can they keep their cool? Will FaZe run them over in this series, in this semi, straight to the final? Little bye for Dexter, pistols on the others. Again, back to under, but FaZe have been here every step of the way, coming for the stairs this time. Nice headshot, run and gun for Chopper. Pistol does it, Carrigan can't uh -oh. control, not contained, Chopper's got two. This is all starting to spiral. They can feel this one getting out of hand, and sometimes one round can make all the difference. FaZe, they need to hold on here. Feels like these rounds have been five alive, no matter how you slice it, no matter who picks it up, right? Will that tendency continue? Can Spirit keep it clean? Okay. Robs has seen one. Rain spotted a man Ooh. over towards the B side of the map. Right now, Rob starting to get stuck in. Out through Palace. And coming for the throne. This round destined to go the way of phase. It might have been a nice start on that lower tunnels push. The going might have looked good. The FaZe Clan, though, when the going gets tough, that's where Rops is going to answer the call. Him and Rain, two kills apiece to make that one happen. Oh, nice try, buddy. Rain, he's got that stage experience, trying to clear corners with the crowd. Not today. Will this finally be a save allowed by FaZe? I mean, they don't need to worry about the money. They're more scared of a ninja, a late player sneaking through Palace. Dex is nothing of the sort. He's just thankful he can live around. A luxury that's not been afforded to Spirit as FaZe finally leave one standing. They'll take 10. As a result, it's a worthy trade. It's double digits on the T-side for FaZe. All right, desperate times, calling for desperate measures. Spirit gonna bring out that double law. Patsy and Dexter. About time. Donning it now, round 15. They've waited the whole half to show their hand with this one. Gave the credit for it earlier on. Well, let's see if it can deliver. Ouch. Patsy wants to try his hand at the mid fight. <gasps> Rain has seen him though. Again. Oh my goodness. This has been such a consistent source of opening kills. And oh! it will oh. still come through. Rain with the opener. There's that second oh, opening God. stuck in. But the A play is moving in now. It's getting, getting wild in the mid round. Chopper skirts on out of there. A 3v3 spirit setting up to go for a bit of a retake here. They're all grouping over on the jungle side. Phase. Still yet to get situated inside of the site, but they are moving in. Yeah, deep smokes, that second one's so important to allow for an open bomb plant. Rops might just stick it default, play for that CT spawn, but phase of all the room in the world right now, cut out our spirit, slinking back into the night of phase, but this ramp post plant could limit them, especially with that last molly already used. Brokey's got to at least frag out from the open, but Chopper comes over the top and puts Brokey to a stop. 
Right, out from the stairs, they deal oh. with the twist. It's only Rops left. He knows where they're all coming from. He's looked the beast in the eye, but he's still left in this clutch. Up through round. Oh, with the fight, but he can't connect it. Deagle from Dexter will provide a round. It's five at the end of this one for Team Spirit. They at least deliver on round 15. Yeah, a bit of a shame to see default plan there for FaZe. Kind of gives up any chance of, of playing a post part, you know, passively. Trying to play that clock. They were all just stuck in open positions, fighting for the control. And Spirit finally win it out. They got the pistol, they converted, but they barely taste rifle rounds in that CT side. 10-5, FaZe are feeling fantastic, and Spirit need help. Pistol round could certainly change the game. Yeah, it's going to take a lot, though, man. These T sides have been a little more problematic for Spirit. Right? Oftentimes, it's CT where they're doing their best work, where they're getting the most mileage. So it's going to, going to take a lot from Chopper and the rest of the gang to get everyone believing in this one. But does he still bring his identity, right? This guy wrote the strat book in terms of fast T sides on Mirage. He made majors gone by with Vega rushing those B apartments. Spirit can't get quiet, can't get cautious now. They've got to fall back to what they know, what they love. And they're ready to go. Faze have got three ready to respond to this A play. It's just a standard little exec smoke coming in over the top. And Ray makes contact first. This guy with a pistol can be a lethal thing indeed. Brokey out from behind triple. Tapping them out. Oh, oh Brokey. Come on, lad. Two to his name right now, but he's got so much more to give. Dinked by the Glock, and he will get silenced. Rain Ouch. over in CT is flushed out of the round. Chopper's going Oh back. my goodness. Right now, Patsy's left to fight all alone. And he's making it happen. He's making us believe. Carrigan in the clutch. Chopper up and oh. leaving. Patsy, what does he want to do here? Nice. Doesn't want to give Carrigan the 1v1. He's going to go back and hold the escape route. But Carrigan's seen this one before. He knows your tricks. Oh! oh! Patsy still domes him, though. And it's a huge round for the young gun to open up. Yeah. <laughs> Give them your energy, folks. They need it. Sick round out of Patsy, and even with that rotate called Carrigan, he may have their head on his shoulders, but Patsy takes it right off. Can't get ahead of that rotate out from Chopper. Pistol round now for Spirit. They got both of them in this map. But the phase chants go on. Phase have forced this. They don't want to let Spirit build that belief back up. They don't want to let them. They want to seize their moment and deliver on this force by Brokey with the scout. Already, Rops has taken room over towards ramp. And at this point, Phase, they're situated in a spot where they can look to lean more bodies over towards B. That's where it looks like Spirit are heading right now. They're up catwalk. They've smoked off Con. They're moving in towards this B side of the map. Phase have got three here. Scouts and pistols to try and hold back the tide of spirit. If anything, that smoke, it's scary, right? You're worried that spirit are going to read away, try and move from this stack. Or it could just be a late commit through the apps. Back in spawn grouping. That will be the case for spirits. Uh, for spirit, they just have to hold their nerve, not panic, not move a muscle. Rop still has ramp info. Rain spotting mid. Brokey could get left high and dry unless Carrigan multi-kills from this position, but the CZ is not what it once was. Oh, lovely opener. End of the line for Twist, but this is where Carrigan's waiting. Oh. CZ in oh. with the first, but that's the end of it. Nope. And Brokey's gone as well. The pistol, the stack, it's all broken apart here. Spirit able to navigate it, and that is in spite of Twist's landing, that incredible opener with the Deeg. They don't let it fluster them, they don't let it get to them. They trade each and every one of those kills, and they get out of this one with a seventh round intact. Rops in the apartments is looking for nothing more than damage on players attempting to leave. Yeah, often you just want to exit the way you came, right? The, the path that you know is safe, or at least so you think. Spirit might have to fall back that way, and that could give guns to Rops. It could give upgrades indeed, but the more the merrier for Spirit. And they come, three right. on one. Rops right. looking to churn up tees. He's got the first two. two, and there's the trade, but it's a very expensive second round. It's a dud.
It would be wild. It's not invaluable, but there's a world where, you know, FaZe could justify trying to throw more money. Oh. I don't think they're going to with the lead so established, with Spirit being the ones feeling the pressure. They certainly could, but it looks like, oh, hello, Robs has thrown some extra cash in. Hey, he made money, 600 a kill. But yeah, it's pretty tapered. They're still looking to uh, to keep Spirit on the back foot in terms of the money. And so if they can get out of this round with a couple of kills to their oh. name, going to set them up real nicely for the first. Rob's fast dropping under. All right. All right. They're setting up Util currently. I love that he doesn't rush this. Once he hears them commit, they're going for a little delayed depot. Rob's is going to be able to backstab. Chopper's still at the forefront. He's broken his way into the bomb site, but they go back to check the flank. Rops has been heard. He's been rumbled. So has the site. Overwhelmed as Rops gets peeked from the top of the stairs and FaZe just don't have the weaponry to consider this round. It's Spirit converting, stopping the force, and a little bit more for FaZe. Rain going to sell it for Carrigan, but there's no win in this one. Ooh. All right. Any more rain? Any more? Just the one. Eight to ten. All right. Two rounds between these two squads. FaZe are going to be coming in with that purchase we promised you now. They've got the orb in Brokey's hand. They're bringing that one out right away. No delay like Dexter faced in that first half. He's also got his AWP. So there's a chance we get a clash of these orbs right here, right now, to open up the second half of Mirage. Was it worth the wait? Fast out mid for Spirit. Not much util though, the window smokes the only cover. Rops runs through and Chopper, blinded, just fires in and finds that pick. Twist keeps this round enabled for Dink and dead and spam through the smoke. This one's a mess, it's murder on both sides. FaZe will give it up and go slow as Spirit try and play out the three on three. Oh, Patsy seen Ray going up, going over. He's now out of the round. Over in the apartments, you've been sent packing with Siren dead. Dexter's got to go all the way back to A with this bomb. It falls to a 2v2. Things get scary now. Brokey's posted with the AWP. Carrigan's using this time to oh. move his way in, but it might never be needed. Brokey, uh -oh. keen as ever to get involved. Dexter with the bomb out was never ready for a second man. And Carrigan speed, his greatest ally there. We don't have to wait long, do we? It's not much of a streak, it's only the conversions. That's all Spirit have had in this entire map right now. FaZe have run away with rifle round after rifle round. And everyone's had their moments. Can Spirit get to be seen? Broken already, Deagle on Chopper. Set up Dexter with a big green at least. Some block going on in spawn will send FaZe a little bit late. That might give pace to Spirit in the middle. It's only this all posting up rain. Gonna boost up into ladder. Double short side. Rops now has a lot of things to watch with his teammate all the way back in CT. Smoked out a con. A weird one for him there. It doesn't bounce how he wants it to. But it will keep Spirit's eyes on the prize as they come out late from under, clearing middle. Rain's not in a rush. It's Patsy who has to force fights and they're just not getting given. He wants this opener, man. This is like the, the two balls clashing horns over in middle. Both want these early fights. Both often win these early fights. And this time, it might just end in a stalemate. Patsy's lobbing Util out. What does he want to do with this space in middle? Trying to work the connector, maybe? Oh, spotted by the short side orb. Twist falling back into this side. Carrigan here with an SMG. They gotta hold off against this onslaught of spirit, but they do have support in the ladder room. Rain boosted there at the start of the round. The question now is are they ready for it? Magix will find that opener. However, Ooh. Rain arrives, and it's a downpour. FaZe Clan locking Spirit out of the sight. Magic's trap and Rain's there to close. They look muted right now, man. They look terrified. FaZe, they're everywhere and nowhere at the same time. As soon as you think you cleared a bomb site, a third man appears out of nowhere. Rain's getting shot through smoke, shots through smoke. Spirit, slow T sides aren't offering them many opening opportunities. And you talked about that opening fight, we never even get it. We never even get Patsy given the chance to frag out on that T half. Him and Rain, like you said, they're the top two performing players in terms of the opening duels in this entire tournament. Man, Patsy came into the playoffs as the fourth highest rated player in his first major. Unprecedented at 18 years of age.
That pistol may have been nice, but it might be all they've got. Phase up against pistols again. And they can just breathe, live in the moment. Spirit have nothing to show here. All right, pistols running out the ramp side. How far can they make it? Bomb plant here would be lovely, but it's pretty optimistic with Rain laying down the pain from CT. Out with the burst and in with the kills. It's around for FaZe Clan. They keep it flawless. And they're establishing themselves here to be the victors on their map pick. We're going to kickstart this series off the right way if you're a FaZe fan. Yeah, we may have had some quiet performances early, right? Early in the tournament phase, right? Robs and Brokey beginning the, the playoffs a bit quiet, twists in this one as well, but a rising tide lifts all boats. Rain is on a tear, 24 and 13. Drowning spirit in rounds right now. Top mid push, phase of feeling it. There's already a player screaming out A. Magix can't molly that player. Twist takes them out on the default. Magix will get one, but it's all spirit have right now. Phase. Showing face and going back to that A site, but that leaves a gap. And Siren sneaks through in the dead of night. If you listen closely, you can hear him beckoning twists onto the rocks in through lower tunnels right now. Mm -hmm. Chopper does have his eye on this. Twists is low, but Chopper has just left this position. <gasps> going back, he's got the info. Twist is stuck. Wow. And will get caught out. Pincered with Siren. They don't know, so deep. They don't know about him. Oh, he's in with that first wow. kill. They're going to try and chase him. The Molly's pushed him forward, <laughs> but Siren holds the line. <laughs> Phaser up on the rock, shipwrecked in this one. Unless... Up through the short side, it's all on Rain. Topping the charts right now for Phase. He's going to have to go even oh. bigger. But Chopper gets him back under control, puts him back on a leash. And so Spirit, they do put a round up on this T side. Wow, what a save for Siren, right? It has been him and Patsy pretty much saving the game in, in some of these rounds, right? Whether it was a T-side pistol for Patsy on the A-side, Siren with a realization that not only did Brokey beat his molly, but he was full sending. He was committing. I'm still a little concerned. The only time we see Chopper top frag is when Spirit lose. It still shows these stars are yet to shine. There's more rounds. There's more chances for Spirit. They broke the streak of three for FaZe. They're back on. Can they get double digits as well? That's the problem, right? You can't afford to go stone cold here. You can't afford to be a one and done. You need to keep these rounds building up. You need to start chaining them together. So out they come. It's a fast day play. No respect on this one. Oh. Rain waits with patience inside of the site. First kill from this A1S and Ooh. now traded. Now gone. A site crumbles. And Spirit are in with a chance and a bomb plant and a 4v4 post plant. Time to get set up, time to move in. Oh my! He's taking risks and taking fights that maybe he didn't need to take. Giving over that man advantage, oh. Chopper tries to trade it out. FaZe are now coming through. Dexter with this AWP, haven't had a clutch round out of him yet. No bomb. This would be the time. Bombs over towards ramp, but Brokey can catch it on the cross. Uh-oh. Dexter might need to help here. Oh, he's just left the angle. The bomb's going back. The bomb's starting to turn away. It's the pistol all over again. Magic's just checking. Gonna rejoin Dexter here. Oh my goodness. It's balancing on a knife's edge. The question for Carrigan is, does he want to stop the, the plant? Does he want to try and fight for it? Will he take that risk? Or will he play a retake in a man up position? He hears steps, he hears the stick, but Dex is not covering. Oh my goodness, Carrigan. Oh, Dexter oh! opens and there's the turnaround. All right. Still got legs on it, twists. Up through ramp, 1v2, big round ahead of someone who's had a rough start to this game. They don't know about the flank, they don't know about it yet. Twists moving in, silent, quiet as a mouse oh. now, leaping to action, first kill found. Just Dexter, left to beat, clutch or player. Twists moving in, going up, going over. Feeling hot, feeling the pressure, out with a jiggle, trying to bait this shot, but Dexter holds his nerve. And now going back in for this bomb, oh! he's just baiting it. Oh, the shot sails by no! him, but he runs out of ammo. Dexter locks in the round. Does it right back. We were waiting all game, but better late than never. Back to back for Spirit, rifle rounds, one, two v three in the pre-part. And what a fake out as well. 
FaZe try and peek together, both players trying to take fights on that A bomb site, and Dexter and Magic stop them from even getting involved. Six shots out of Dexter. The leg into the Glock, he was feeling it. Twist out of ammo, that one's got a sting. Full eco now. And Spirit, they've already closed it. Consider this 11, folks. Nothing FaZe can do. It's a very quick round. It's literally already over. Not getting your money's worth out of this one. Spirit are closing this gap, though, Hugo. You can feel it, right? You can feel oh, that yeah. things are changing a little bit. We almost need a 2-0, right? If Spirit were ever going to run through it with this one, especially given not only the, the favorites rocking three-map series in arenas, but also the fact that FaZe are flawless on Nuke. They look light out. And so, Spirit, there's still hope. There's still a way in. Magix, he's just going for the creep. He's going for the walk. He wants to multi-kill. One is not enough, and he takes it late. Got to clear a couple out of middle. These pistols getting churned up, chewed, and spat out. But Rain will hold on. Not much to say for FaZe, but FaZe has Spirit find 11. All right, this is the round you've got to be paying attention to. This is the one where we're really going to get a sense. Do we have to be worried for FaZe, or is it all still under control? If they lose this, Team Spirit should be tying this up, should be equalizing this out. So this is really a round that shapes this series, that shapes this semi-final matchup. M4s across the board for FaZe Clan. Rain left alone to anchor down this A bomb site. Chopper exploding out into middle. That is a lot of damage out of the MAC-10. And now oh. Rops, he is stuck. He is trapped down in low and no safe way out of this one. The rest of Team Spirit starting to show their hands, starting to play the cards they're dealt here on the ramp side. Oh. They're moving out, but Rain delivers that open and chases the orb down and is in with this double. Even taking it one step further, Rain does not know when to quit. Oh my spirit. Oh, oh they're gonna catch him. Nice shot. It's left to Carrigan, the captain of FaZe Clan. A 1v3 and the bomb at his feet. He doesn't know. Oh, he turned his back. Is it on the map? Is there any realization? Carrigan anchors down, he's here, he's committed. But he's questioning, where are Spirit? They could be anywhere. And in fact, they are already through the back line, climbing into the window as Chopper. It's a clash of the in-game leaders. Carrigan goes one step too far behind. Hang on a moment, this is actually pretty smart. He knows, he knows the bomb's down there. Carrigan doesn't want to be sat on the bomb, that's too obvious. And they're leaving themselves in no time. He wants to play for the 1v3. Oh, there's a surprise! Out from behind triple! Carrigan knows they've got to come to him. He's the man to do the damage. From oh! the Fins in the water! And these sharks bite back. It's not just dragons today. Carrigan on the big stage puts up 14. Experience right there, Hugo. He didn't want to play around the bomb. He wanted to fight on his terms in the 1v3. Oh my god! That's gonna shatter you. This has been a slow crawl back for Spirit. A comeback on the T side, their weaker heart, but not today. But can you really pick yourself up, brush yourself off after Carrigan collapses upon you like that? I don't know. Six shots, line up to close. Carrigan keeps his cool in the clutch. Oh my God, and it's no big celebration. It's nothing wild. It's actually very measured for Carrigan. The adrenaline must be pumping after that one. He almost couldn't even believe it happened in the fashion that it just did. FaZe are now poised to close this out and it's all spearheaded by the IGL. The man with so much to lose, so much to gain, a legacy to fulfill. A trophy to lift. Spirit can't let one round define them. They're trying to pick up the pieces, trying to rise from the ashes. Out they come into this A site. Opener secured over in middle. Rops on the receiving end of Dexter's peak. And right now, Patsy is far deeper than they're ready for. There's so many fights ready to go down oh. all across the map. This one hitching oh. on a few key engagements of Patsy. 
burning our bodies. Not out of the woods yet, though, if last round was anything to go by, anything to remember. It's never over till it's over. Oh, but it might be already, Harry Faze. They've realized wrong, they've rumbled as they have to run back into the B-bomb site. Carrigan doesn't want to concede. Uh -oh. Brokey on the cross, oh! and Carrigan follows up. It's Dexter in the clutch, a 1v2, two to his name already. It's just the orb. Brokey is the clutcher, is the Iceman. Dexter, the same within his ranks. It's a battle of clutches. Who will be oh. crowned king? Brokey up the short side. Dexter looking for him, cannot find him anywhere. The whole map is fog of war, the whole map is dark, and over on short, Brokey still yet to play his hand. Dexter swinging out. Oh. And there it is! Rising from the ashes, Dexter with the clutch. Team Spirit are not out of this one yet. How do they keep holding on? Carrigan and Brokey in a 2v3, make it a 2v1, they can't close. And somehow, someway, Dexter does it right back. You have a clutch from the leader of FaZe, but Spirit don't fall quiet. This game is so close on a knife's edge right now. Either team playing with a crowd, playing with the hearts and minds. Difference is though, man, when Carrigan won his round, Spirit were able to reinvest. They were able to, to arrive back in the server right away. Not the case for FaZe. They kind of have to give a bit of room here. They have to let Spirit get even closer. And man, how good have these reads been from Chopper and Anti-Ecos, right? FaZe, on their T side, they ran into every stack, but they just destroyed it. Spirit, they avoided every single pistol play for FaZe. They do not run into a five-man hold. They will just get clean range shots and hit every single one. Magix has found that first man. Carrigan comes through, but it's only a traded kill. Spirit should still keep oh! this clean, but Twist snaps the head off too. Deagle's warm now. Deagle in the picture, swinging out from CT. Twist, can he get any more oh! than reload? Oh, they're both reloading. Oh! Not again. It's so close. The smoke spam does not quite connect. Spirit, they need to calm down. Their nerves are shot right now. It's Chopper and Siren. Back to back, all they've got is each other. They've split up. Oh no! Oh! Oh, Brokey caught with nades out over in jungle. That might save the day. Twist with this double opener. It was him to Ouch. get this round interesting, him to get it moving. Now he's gonna close it, and he can't! Woo! From a clean anti eco, supposedly. Twist, he throws in a little bit of dirt, but the mop's out. Spirit. They get it over the line. They get rid of another scary round for FaZe. Another potential clutch today, but it's 13-14. What looked like a one-sided map. The pocket pick of FaZe and Mirage. And they've got to fight for it every single second. Oh All God. or nothing. Lose here, and you're giving Spirit map point. Yeah, they might be in the lead, but the pressure is definitely on phase. Neither team's doing too great economically, though. There's so much riding, actually, just on this round. Whoever wins this gets shunted into pole position in a very real way. So essentially, that last hour that we've just spent watching, it's all hinging on winning this round. First map of this semi-final relies on the outcome of this one. It's slow, it's measured, spirit leaving nothing to chance. Pays the charm respect. They're letting them have middle. You can take it, they say. We're more than ready. We're waiting for you. The carpet's rolled out over at the A site. And so spirit want to come moving in. Up through the smoke, Rops the first line of defense. The spray's good. He has to back out, scared of a backstab. It's Rops with a double. Chop comes over the top, but Rops won't stop. Popping noggins. Three kills off the A1S, and Spirit must confess that this round might slip by the wayside unless that Molly can force Twist out. He can't get the kill. The flash saves Twist's life. There's still a man in the site. They haven't oh, cleared no. it. Brokey behind lines, and Dexter might just have to save. Devastation, phase five, 15. That is salt in the wound for Carrigan, man. He even strips that orb away right at the very end. Something's right as the never doors changed. Close. And for Spirit, it doesn't matter how close you've made this, how much fight you've had. You've now got to do it with pistols. Yeah. They've had some great reads on this T side. They've really. Brought the A game today, have Spirit. A recovery from what was a very slow start. But right now, they've got to make their own luck. 
pistols out. An O to Vegas squadron. Tech nines on the ramp. Do or die. Dust two waiting in the wings. Yeah, here's the pistol play. A chopper specialty as they pick up the pace on the A play. Running it back one last time. Flash is going oh. out. Loki dead. Still a chance here. Bomb now getting planted. Rob's flashed off. They're taking CT. One man here to keep them at bay, to oh. hold the line. Oh. Siren's got the orb. He's plucked that one out of the round. Somehow got his hands back on it, but now he's got to pick an angle. Now he's got to pick a fight. Flash through CT. First kill for FaZe. Oh, and another. Siren oh. with the reply. Two kills, and he just about gets out. Oh, could get caught with nades, but he's still No fighting. way! Siren! Oh, man! Up close, cut down. Rob's 1v1, and it's all on this defuse. Taps it. Oh. Nails it! He's FaZe! It's so close! And they've just got it! So good.